Hey there, I'm your host Lissawi and this is part 17 of our inventory series. In today's video, we'll fix what needs to be fixed and we'll recap on what we have done so far. And with that said, let's begin. Alright, so the first matter of business is that if we go to our container and if we had a few of our own items in here and were to store them one by one, this would actually break the game because these items, the potential stack would exceed what we can possibly have, which in our case is 10, and then this would crash the game. Now to fix this, it is very simple. We simply go to our content inventory or content drawer and to our inventory component. Now in here, we want to go to the check container inventory function. And what we're currently doing is we're checking the player's inventory item quantity. And this is not what we want to do. We want to check the destination inventory, or rather the container inventory instead. So that's my mistake there. I simply misplaced that. So by doing this, this should fix that error for you. So let's compile and save and see if I'm right. Let's collect everything. Uh, 10 mushrooms. Yeah, 11 should be fine. So we'll go to this container. Let's remove what was there, open it up, and let's start stacking. So one by one we go. That's two, three, four, and five. We got a sixth one, and so on. Seven, eight, nine, and then let's do the other stack. Ten, and boom, it fixes it, okay. So that's one issue down. Now, another one isn't really a bug, but it's a visual matter. So in here, this is kind of centered and this is not. So to fix that, we'll go to our content drawer again. And in the UI, we'll go to our inventory widget. And if you select the wrap box in here, we can center the, on the content layout. First of all, we can fill horizontally the horizontal alignment. And what this will do is it will stretch everything to be uh, filled. Now, if we have a slot that's out of order, of course, this will get stretched too, but we fix the alignment. So a workaround is you either have the full row filled or nothing there. So if we go to our third person and open up the inventory itself, in the inventory size, we have 10 slots, but let's do 18 slots, right? Let's compile that and save. And now, bada boom, bada bam, fixed. So that is all nice. Okay, so now for the recap. Let's say we were wandering and we stumbled upon a few mushrooms. Our inventory is empty. So if we get to an item pretty much up close, we'll get a pickup message to whatever that item is. So let's pick up three mushrooms and we can see three mushrooms displayed in our inventory over here. Now with this, we can use them, drop them, split them, inspect them. So if we use them, we simply get a message there. If we drop them, we get a slider to how many we want to drop. Let's say just the one, the one just drops. But if it's two, we'll drop two. That's that. So we can also do a split uh, stack. Of course, you can split a one, but if it's two or more, you can split. Now we can inspect this item as well, so we'll get a few uh, details about that item. Let's go ahead, collect a few more, more mushrooms. So we have what, uh, seven, we have nine, and once this gets to the full stack, it'll start stacking on a new slot. And if it's a completely new item, it'll just go to another slot altogether. We can then go to our inventory, uh, to our container rather, and in here we have similar stuff. We can split, inspect, but we have take, so we can take one. This will become four. This will become one, and we can use as well. So disappear, restore to twenty health. We can also save items, so we can drag that in there. Press Z to save our game. So you can see in the top left corner, game saved. Exit, come back, and boom, our items are saved. Can move them around. Save again, let's do that, exit, come back, and boom, our items are saved. Now, another thing we can do is we can filter items. 
So this is a type food category and this is a type miscellaneous, I believe. So if we do equipment, nothing shows up. Food, only the mushroom will show up and the slot that was occupied previously will disappear. So we know how much room we have available for any more storage. Oceans, none of them matter. Books, same like that. Misc, the miscellaneous, then we get the stone. And if we activate food, we also get that. So if we were to, let's say, have the miscellaneous turned on and we went to store some mushrooms that gets stored, we don't see it. But if we turn on food, boom, now we do. This has become eight. So that's the filter system. Another feature of this inventory is if we were to run around and drop a few mushrooms and save the game, these will save. So exit, come back and boom, the mushrooms get saved. Same if we were to pick them up. So we have one left, save the game, come back, and boom, it gets saved. And lastly, we have a hotbar feature. So we can drag our items in the inventory into our hotbar, which will refresh it for us on the display. And then we can apply whatever function we want to those items. So I have applied use so if i press the q button we get in the top left corner restored 20 health and if you didn't see that once again restored 20 health and with the hotbar itself we can use the wheel to move around up and down or we can press keys on the keyboard and switch like so and that's pretty much it so this is all for the video i hope you enjoyed this was a short one if you liked it leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always Happy developing.